Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy 13 walkthrough. Uh, we are in, oh boy, I want to say this is Valis, Ooh, nope, not Valis Media, we are out of there. Uh, Yaschus, Yaschus, <laughs> Massive, I don't know, something like that. Why do they make these so hard for me to pronounce? I feel like they're just picking on me at Square. All right, <clears throat> so uh, we got a couple of treasure spheres to grab here, and uh, we will continue on with. Uh, there's a couple more marks in this area, so we will we will take care of them as as need be, I suppose. Uh, here are the trithids. Uh, these guys can actually be a little bit annoying. Um, they've got, uh, I think they like absorb health from you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So kind of like the um, like the bomb enemies that we've we've come across a few times, uh, and then a little uh, seeming to be a little bit beefier as well. Typically, it seems the bomb enemies kind of just uh, you know only take a couple of hits and then they go down. But uh, these guys, not so much. They've got a little more little more beef to them. <clears throat> and uh, wow, yeah, it looks like they do all kinds of fun status effects too. It looked like poison, D shell, and uh, D protect as well. So uh, I guess I guess if they're alone, or if that's the only enemy type, it may not be as bad. But um, if you combine them with something else, they could be an issue. Uh, but here we've got uh, our first cutscene. Huh? Oh, I, uh, I was just thinking. About what? Something complicated? <laughs> I was just taking it all in. The sky here, the trees, the sunlight, the smells. When I was on Cocoon, I never dreamed a place like this could even exist. But now, here I am, on Pulse. If I hadn't gone to those fireworks, if I hadn't been sitting in that same train car during the purge, if anything had been different, I'd never have had a chance to see this. Mm -mm. No. I'm sure you would have wound up here. Don't you remember you promised me? You promised me that we'd come and see Grand Pulse together. Uh, really? I... When did I do that? Oh, I don't know. How about another lifetime? <laughs> uh, what does that even mean? To tell you the truth, I've told so many lies. It's all a blur. Well, you know, sometimes you have to lie about stuff to keep yourself going because you're afraid. Or to protect someone else. So they don't get hurt. Sometimes, even the things that everyone in the whole world thinks are true turn out to be lies. At the end of the day, though, it's not the lie that matters, but what you do after you tell it. Work hard enough, and you can make it true. I mean, maybe we both forgot. Maybe we did promise to see Grand Pulse together. And Cocoon. <clears throat> <sighs> Thanks, Hope. Do something for me, will ya? Keep smiling. I... It makes me happy when you smile. Uh, I... I didn't know you felt that way. <gasps> <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean you were joking? Now we're even. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I'm not really sure if I uh, completely understand that there, but it sure seemed like they're saying, hey, sometimes you have to lie, and if you tr try hard enough, you can make it true. <laughs> like, mm, not sure if that's the best message to be sending there, 
They probably didn't mean it quite like that either, but that's good. that's kind of how I. That's the uh, abbreviated version, I guess. <laughs> Extremely abbreviated or taken out of context. How about that? All right. Anyways, let's head down here to uh, to this area. Like I said, there's a couple more treasure spheres that we'll have to grab. Um, yeah. <clears throat> there's a. Uh, there's actually another mark that we'll end up fighting kind of down in this area too so um if you kind of you know i don't know it's, it's tough for me to say because uh you know obviously here if you're if you're following along with me we'll just end up kind of kind of coming down here at this point but um otherwise uh you know if you if you kind of continue on with the marks and and actually go kind of like the other way uh we'll actually be able to activate a seed stone and then uh, like I said, uh, we'll end up traveling back down here to fight another one of the marks uh, fairly soon. So, you know, again, if you if you really hate backtracking, well, you know, maybe skip this part for now and uh, continue on with the sea stones. But <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Wow. Uh, again, the big reason why I came down here, I, I just wanted to make sure I grabbed all these uh, treasure spears. Uh, so. And I mean, to be honest, the, there's not a whole lot of backtracking. To be honest, I, I would I would bet that you can make it all the way back through this area and uh, and probably only actually have to fight one extra enemy, so or one enemy formation, I would say. So again, I don't know. It's probably not that big of a deal. But all right, let's go grab this treasure sphere back here. Made a rhyme, no big deal. Terrible Watchman's Amulet. Uh, I believe that's the Critical Veil, if I remember correctly. I don't typically uh, use that, actually. Although it does have the uh, positive, I believe it's the positive effect uh, synthesized uh, ability. So if you've got that uh, equipped with certain other accessories or weapons, uh, it will extend your buffs by 30% for the first tier, and then, you know, as you add more items from that group it gets a little bit better but <clears throat> uh, I don't know if I actually finish out this enemy formation or not um, I might here I guess we'll see but uh, these flying like wyverns I believe is their their group uh, can be pretty brutal obviously we've already fought um, it was the uh, you know there was the boss or the two two boss fights in a row and I don't know. These these ones are actually quite a bit different than those, so I don't. Maybe that's not a, a real good example, but um, actually, the ones that we fought with uh, Saz and Vanille when they were they were alone, there were those you know wyverny type type uh, enemies there, and uh, they're fairly similar. So these ones will, I think these. Oh yeah. So I think these ones will de or, uh, debuff you, as well as I believe they've got that feeding swoop ability. Uh, the, and the, actually, the, what makes this uh, fight actually a little more dangerous is the Trifids um, being being with uh, with these or with this Sparog. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, you know that's really the dangerous part because uh, they'll the Trifids will put the debuffs on you, and then the Sparog will uh, you know use his uh, feeding swoop, which again is extremely dangerous physical type of ability. So. We'll see if he actually ends up using it, or if I'm just a total liar and he doesn't. But um, uh, good, good plan here too would be to uh, have somebody keep everybody at probably at least half health or better. Um, and then you know if you need to, if or if uh, you know some of those Triffids do put some debuffs on you, it's probably not a bad idea to get. Get a medic to remove those. Um, combat clinic's not a bad idea here, just because then that way you've got a sentinel to kind of keep his attention while the other two, uh, you know, medics will remove debuffs with you sooner. There's the feeding suit, so let's see how this goes. And there you go. So here's a perfect example of why Lightning is a poor uh, party leader right now. She cannot take a feeding swoop. Um, you know, essentially unprotected. If I if I would have used something like uh, you know, or if I would have had protect on her, probably would have been a different story. But uh, I did not, so obviously she got she got wiped out, and so now we have to do this fight all over. 
And that was actually going fairly well, too. Uh, if I would have, you know, just been smart and after the Triffids were taken care of, if I would have, uh, you know, got some buffs up, it may not have turned out that way. Actually, and you know what? Um, being that we've got these three, I don't know if I've actually got Protect or not. We're gonna see here. We may end up uh, retrying this one more time. Because again, I'm not really sure if I've got uh, a, uh, a real a real good crew for one thing. Oh, okay. So I've got... I do have one uh, formation here when everybody is a synergist. So I know between Lightning and Snow, we've got Protect and Shell covered. So hopefully, uh, <clears throat> hopefully I do this right. It looks like I'm trying to land some debuffs on him. Um, again, though, this is not a very good idea. I mean, if you can see there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, Lightning's got deep protect on her. I think uh, Snow does as well. So I really need to be getting rid of that. Oh, it looks like I'm not going to be here. <clears throat> There's the protect. So hopefully that will at least protect Lightning. Okay, everybody's got it now. So we should be okay. All right, so let's see how this turns out. I kind of feel like the, it, this is looking a lot better now. And uh, obviously, so we got Im Imperil to land and Poison as well. Poison, uh, I don't know. That's a, oh, Yeah, I don't know. To be honest, it's probably not that great of a debuff. So I wouldn't concentrate on that. He, does, he just doesn't have a whole lot of health. And uh, I mean, you can see there even with, uh, with the Ravagers are just... Yeah, look at this. His health is dropping crazy fast. Uh, with that in peril, yeah, look at that. He didn't even get a chance to use Feeding Swoop. Alright, so there you go. Much better. Uh, unfortunately... Uh, <laughs> English is hard. Unfortunately there, I only got a 4 star. But, it's not the end of the world. Uh, back here is actually where the, uh, the, the that mark that I had mentioned earlier is located at. Uh, I believe it's uh, Edimu, Ed, Edimu or something like that. And, uh, you know, again, we'll, we'll just end up coming back here in a little bit. Which, uh, to be honest, is not really that big of a deal. Um, and one, one kind of neat strategy, and I'm, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure, actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this way, way, way earlier, uh, you know, in, a, in one of the first videos, but, um, that, that specific fight back there with the Sparag and the, uh, the two Triffids, you can actually avoid that by using a Deceptisol. And then kind of like running past, uh, uh, you know, past them, and then initiating a battle with like these guys and then running away, or sorry, using a retry. And that way the Deceptisol will actually go back in your inventory too. So it's kind of a, a neat little trick to kind of like, you know, get past some enemies. It doesn't work for everything, but it does work for a lot of stuff. So, you know, just I guess keep that in mind if you really don't want to be uh, fighting that Svarog. Which is understandable. I mean, even even right now, even with my characters being extremely well developed, um, I had I had some issues there. But um, <clears throat> um, you know, again, buffs buffs are really uh, really help out. Protect protect would have definitely uh, made made that first attempt a win. Um, and then here, the kind of kind of good thing about this area down here is you'll you'll probably never end up coming down here again. Uh, there is uh, at least one treasure sphere. Yeah. Okay. So it does. Yeah. This is a dead end. So there's just this one treasure sphere back here now. Unfortunately, this is kind of a rough battle because you've got uh, three of these these gorgonopsids. Yeah, gorgonopsids. Uh, but the kind of the good thing about these guys is they're they're actually probably a little bit better than the uh, better than the Triffids just because these guys aren't gonna aren't, aren't gonna use like deep protect on you, so they're probably not gonna be as dangerous. Um, but that being said, once you get them taken care of, I would still recommend getting that uh, you know protect up. Ooh, was that a feeding swoop? It sure looked like it. <coughs> I didn't actually see. Uh, one kind of neat thing, though, too, about feeding swoop is uh, 
So if if you time it out just right, and uh, you know, unfortunately, there's there's not much you can do about it if if uh, if the Sparag targets your other party members, but if it time, times out just right, you can actually avoid feeding Swoop with your party leader uh, if you use like you know the attack command. Uh, it doesn't work as well uh, if if you're in like the Ravager role or uh, yeah, really just the Ravager role. Um, unless, unless your Ravager has the strike type abilities and it's somebody like Lightning or Snow. On um, Saz it doesn't quite work out that well because he never jumps up into the air. But um, basically, again, now if, if you've got like a commando or like your leader is like a commando or something, um, you know, and you go to use the attack command, they'll jump up into the air and, uh, and try to hit, you know, the Sparag up in the air. And that'll actually kind of make Feeding Swoop miss. So it's not really something that you're going to be able to count on, um, I guess, real well, you know. But I guess just keep that in mind. Sometimes you can kind of pull it off and it, it'll, uh, it'll work out for you. But again, not something I would uh, count on. And I would say you're definitely going to want to get those protect or get protect up just to kind of cover your bases. Uh, it's always better to be safe than sorry, that's for sure. All right, anyways, let's keep the move on here. Let's see what we get here for all of our hard work. Glass orb, I totally do not remember what that does. Probably something lame because I, again, don't remember what it does. So I've probably never equipped it. I guess eventually it, it might have a use, but not really sure at this point. Alright, anyways, let's keep uh, keep going here. What do we have here? Oh, a bunch of Triffids. Lovely. Lovely. Um, so, uh, you know, I kind of want to toss this out there once again. If you can see here, <coughs> excuse me, uh, my characters have a bunch of, of buffs on. Obviously, they're starting out. Uh, Lightning's got haste. And that is due to the Hermes sandals that she has on. Uh, and if anybody, you know, or if you haven't been watching the other videos, <coughs> the way to get those is actually with the, what was that, the te Tetratic Crown, I believe was the name of that, that we got from the end of uh, the Sid, Sid Reigns battle. And uh, if you upgrade that uh, all the way to, to, to making sure that it's a star, you know, if it's upgraded all the way, <coughs> um... Then you can break it down, and it'll break down actually into... Actually, then it'll break into Hermes Sandals, I believe it is. And then actually it's the Hermes Sandals, I think, that you upgrade into Sprint Shoes. And Sprint Shoes is what gives you the auto... Auto Haste. So, I guess just, uh, you know, if you're wanting to... To get yourself uh, some of those, they are extremely nice. I really like them. I end up really... I would say for... I don't know, in a little bit here we're going to be able to kind of farm them in a way, so, you know, I guess uh, if you if you want to keep that Tetratic crown for now, go right ahead, but um, I actually, you know, I, I make sure I upgrade that right away, right right once I get it. Um, now, you know, again, if you don't have cash or something, or, you know, you don't have the resources to upgrade it, don't worry about it. Uh, we'll, we'll get actually a couple, couple more in a little bit, and uh, we've got another really good... Uh, farming opportunity coming up in uh, I don't know a few videos I would I would guess um, kind of once we get back to the Arkylt step hope I'm again hope I'm saying that right but not really sure <laughs> but uh, yeah that's gotta it's gotta I don't know it's an okay way to farm I to be honest I don't think it's that great but um, it's kind of really all we've got right now. Um, there's there are definitely a few really good farming opportunities uh, towards the well yeah I guess they're just really it feels to me like there's really specific spots so you know kind of when you run across them you almost need to take advantage of them because you know they don't <laughs> unfortunately they don't last forever uh, unlike actually I shouldn't I shouldn't say that there are a couple that uh, that now uh, will be really good I guess the you know the other the other place was back in chapter nine and you know unfortunately we can't re return there but uh, that being said the you know from here on out actually uh, everything is I, I don't think there's anything that's really missable from this point 
as far as money uh, making options if I remember right I'm, you know again I'm pretty sure that from here on out we're able to kind of like return to to uh, anything I guess ah, I, now, I, now that I think about it there is one specific spot uh, towards the very very end of the game but uh, you know I'll point that out once we actually get there you know, just to, just to make sure that you that you don't uh, miss out on on a, a good, you know any any sort of good farming opportunities while they're available. Wow, lightning almost got shredded right there. Here's another example of of uh, I should be I should either well I guess solidarity would work okay being that uh, it's not being sentinel, but um, it's a really good reason or a good time to be in a, a buffing paradigm and getting protect up. Which, there we go. Alright. Does everybody... Yeah, looks like everybody's got protect now. Yeah, and Snow took like the, or took that like a champ. Okay. <clears throat> uh, one other thing, actually, now that uh, <laughs> now that I'm kind of watching watching myself do it, um, <coughs> Saz, you know, being that Saz still has a, or I should say, Saz is the only one that's got that haste ability for the time being. Uh, you know, it's it's a kind of a good idea to take advantage of that. Um, later on in the game, other characters will get access to haste, but he's still your go-to, you know, for that ability right now. And the good thing about Saz is he's he's a, a, a decent Ravager though as well. And I mean, he he's kind of an okay commando. He's a he's kind of a weird commando actually. He just uh, it's just the way his you know the way his guns work. And uh, unfortunately though, I I don't really like that he can't launch. And I really feel like that's that's the only real big detriment with uh, with Saz and his commando role. But you know, again, he he does okay in certain situations, and he can kind of fit the bill. But uh, you know, to be honest, there's there's three really really good commandos. You know, Lightning, Snow, and Fang, and we can use all of them right now. So there's really no reason not to use you know one of those three. But again. Um, he makes, he's a really, really good synergist as well as a really good Ravager, so, you know, I, I feel like he, he's a really good, he's a really good person to be using for the time being. Um, but, you know, that being said, I think for the, the first time I played, at least the first time I went through, I think I actually used Lightning, Snow, and Vanille quite a bit. Um, in the kind of the good thing about that is, yeah, Vanille doesn't have access to uh, to haste, but she's got uh, she's a really good medic and uh, really good. Oh, nice Deceptus all there, and uh, she's she's a really good saboteur as well. So you know, there's there's certain times where that that kind of stuff really comes in handy. So I guess uh, I guess you know take that take that for what it's worth. Um, I think it's a pretty pretty popular combination though. Still is uh, the lightning. Uh, Fang and Hope, and there's a good reason for that as well. You've got uh, really good commando with Fang. She's a good Sentinel as well. I don't, again though, I don't really use Sentinel as much, so uh, that that's not as big of a, a selling point for me. Uh, she does a really good job though in the Saboteur uh, role as well, and then um, you know Hope's a, obviously a really good healer, and then a really good synergist as well, as well as Saz. Um, you know, about, unfortunately though, he's He's more with the defensive route, which, you know, there's something to be said for that, though, too. So, um, And then again, you know, Lightning is a, a phenomenal Ravager. So that's kind of that's kind of how I how I like to roll sometimes. Uh, but anyways, all right, so this is Mission 4, uh, Hero's Charge. And uh, we've got the, what is this, the Ad Adroa? Yeah. And uh, this one, if I remember right, this one's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh you know, hopefully, hopefully I got that right, but <clears throat> so we're gonna find out here really quick. And uh, excuse me, if I remember right or correctly, 
Uh, I believe that seeth stone turns into a teleport point. So that's a, a very, very important mark to get done as soon as you possibly can. I'm trying to find where this guy is at on the map, but... Uh, I believe we've got a treasure sphere back here, so we'll have to head here first. I'm trying to avoid some of these guys, but... Oh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I didn't actually end up avoiding any, because it looks like these are all part of the same enemy formation anyway. <coughs> and I would sure bet that you can't uh, can't avoid those and still get the, the treasure sphere. But Anyways, alright, so we've got... Uh, oh, these... Uh, I don't know what these things are actually called. Are these some sort of leech el elrounds? Or elrounds? Something like that. Uh, and they do the annoying nutrient absorption where they... You know, kind of take health from you and, and restore it to themselves, or drain it from you, I should say. And then we've got the, uh, the Triffids here as well, with their nasty debuffs. And uh, again, now, you know, they're not to that big of a threat by themselves, but if you pair them up with certain, certain enemies, they can be a real problem. Um, I actually, uh, you know, now that I, I think about it, we passed up a, a formation there of, I don't remember if it's, if it's the King Behemoth, but it's one of the Behemoths. Uh, and then there's actually, so there's a formation with a Behemoth and then a couple of Triffids. And that particular formation can get really nasty because uh, obviously the Triffids debuff you. And uh, the, the Behemoths can do some really, really nasty physical damage. So I tend to skip those for the time being. I really don't feel like they're worth fighting. Uh, you know, and just kind of continue on my way. And then once we get a little bit stronger, then that'll be, they'll be a less of an issue. But again, I just, they're, to be honest, they're just not worth fighting. Um, there's better, better ways to get CP and, uh, easier, uh, and, you know, less dangerous. So, so that's my two cents there. And I think, what did we get back there? Just some, uh, I think that was just organic material, so nothing, nothing really f too much to worry about. But uh, anyways, all right, let's continue down here. Kind of like the landscape here. It looks kind of, uh, I don't know, it's kind of neat. Some kind of hills and valleys. All kinds of deadly plant life. <laughs> uh, I think this is a dead end. Yeah, I don't think there's anything out there. And what are those things? They look like... I'm not gonna... No, I don't even know. Kind of like mushrooms? Like a tube-style mushroom? I don't know. I got nothing. Alright, looks like we've got another... Svarog to take down here. He's guarding this treasure chest or treasure sphere. Gosh, I'm so bad. Alright, so let's toss out all the buffs first. That's probably not a bad idea. Um, and then actually after after the uh, buffs, probably wouldn't be such a bad idea to get this guy debuffed as well. I think, what was it? Um, Imperil landed on him for sure. But looks like I'm going right into Relentless, so I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I didn't end up, end up uh, debuffing him. It sure is looking that way, and that's unfortunate. Usually, if you've got a, if you've got the opportunity to debuff something or debuff, sorry, well, excuse me. Oh, it's usually a good idea. It's uh, it's actually just really efficient, and you're gonna do a ton more damage. Alright, so there he's staggered. He's not yeah, he's not gonna live much longer. So I guess even even without the uh, debuffs there, he went down pretty quickly. And five star, nice. Alright, so what do we got here? A rune bracelet. I think that reduces magic damage. Um I'm you know, that's another one of those accessories that I won't really be using until, uh, or uh, unless it's for a specific fight. 
Uh, but uh, you know they do they do come in handy. In in said fights. All right, so what do we have here? A bunch of Alrons, which again, no, no big, no big fuss to be made over those. And then a hybrid flora. Um, if I remember right, these guys were immune. I think they're immune to physical. Which now, you know, obviously, so I'm gonna, I'm still gonna be using, uh, you know, Snow in that commando role. Unfortunately, his brave buff is, or er, yeah, brave, brave, yeah. His buff, anyways. His buff is not going to uh, be doing him much uh, good, but that's okay. Uh, he'll just be throwing out ruins while he can. And, uh, wow, yeah, he doesn't even try to launch. That's kind of weird. Alright, there we go. So that's the end of that. Five star, not too bad. All right. Looks like <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm just kind of sitting around here, but there we go. Looks like we'll get a move on at some point. And wow, we're getting really close to the end of this video. I'm wondering now. It, I'm I'm betting actually that I'm not going to have time to uh, to take care of that mark. So we'll probably. Yeah, especially being that I'm not doing anything here. I'm just sitting around. Um, but I'm betting we're going to end up taking care of that mark in the next video. And uh, again, I, if I remember right, that one was really tough and took me a few tries to, uh, to really kind of learn the strategy. So, you know, hopefully that'll help out, uh, you know, any of you that are watching. But uh, again, I, if I remember right, I had a, a real, real hard time with this next mark. Uh, but anyways, you know what? I better just cut this commentary here because we're getting right up on the end of the video. And again, I'm, I'm fairly certain there's not going to be anything else uh, left here. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do. Hope this guide was helpful, though. And I uh, hope you join me for more. All right. Thanks for watching.